I tell students that the best art is the kind that you don't need to read anything about to understand its meaning, whether it is abstract or representational or performance, etc. The power of a work of art to move a person is largely subjective, but there is something to be said about the impetus behind why the artist creates a work of art. Often that reason is highly personal and known only to them, adding a sense of mystery for the viewer to interpret. Perhaps the viewer never gets to the same meaning, but the act of contemplating and making their own meaning is just as beautiful. Sometimes there is no underlying meaning at all. Art for art's sake. Art referencing other art. Art that seeks to explore formal questions about process. The strongest work, I think, combines some elements of the two. What can be said about this painting and its process? I'll start with the latter, as technique is the easiest thing in the world to explain in and of itself. I made a line drawing in my moleskin sketchbook based on a photograph my girlfriend sent me during one of our many text conversations. I sealed the drawing with Gamblin PVA size because it retains the texture of paper without making it too slick, like acrylic matte medium would. My palette started off simple, but I realized I wanted to make certain colors pop and so gradually introduce more saturated colors. By the end, I had on my palette titanium white, cadmium free yellow, yellow ochre, cadmium orange, terra rosa, naphthol red, transparent red oxide, ultramarine blue, and burnt umber. In short, way too many colors. I worked left to right in a methodical manner, using the distinct lines and shape of the drawing to guide my painting process until the whole thing was covered. I used no medium other than turpinoid to clean my brushes. And that's it. That's painting in a nutshell, folks. I kid. Painting is hard. Ish. I promise there will be videos where I discuss technique. Pinky swear. But before I make any of that, here is some free advice commonly given to artists. Paint what you know. Now, this is going to be cheesier than fondue, and that's okay. I own up to it. I know love. I think we all do. The photo was a moment in time captured and shared with me. This photo is silly. It's cute. It's probably everything an art student is told not to paint. There is a lot of debate about working from life and working from photos amongst representational artists, but I say it's all rubbish. Working from life offers opportunities to reflect and capture nuances unattainable by photography. But working from a photo frees the artist to experiment and use technology in a way that firmly places us in the context of our times. More importantly, though, this is a painting that could not have happened in any other way. It captures her honestly because she and I were sharing time together in a way that only intimacy allows. If I had posed her and worked from life, it would look contrived. I could have chosen any one of the hundreds of photos we have shared and taken where she is in some conventionally pretty pose. But I am choosing to paint this photo, this moment, because it represents something more than aesthetics. That's why I ended up adding the brighter colors. I could have made this an exercise in simplicity with only a few colors an exercise I strongly encourage everyone to try. But that would then only be a self-referential painting, a painting about a painting, one that uses the portrait only as a vehicle to play with paint, and not the paint to tell the story of this moment. So, my friends, I needed to use cadmium orange because that was the only way to have captured that beaming light as I experienced it. I needed the saturated yellow because the neutral skin tones deserve to have more punch. I needed naphthol red to heat up my darks and make vivid transitional tones into half lights. In the end, I needed that extensive palette because that was the only way I could paint what I knew and experienced in that moment. This painting is not about love in any grand sense nor does it offer any deep and profound revelations about relationships in the 21st century. At the end of the day, this is the accumulated whole of my pushing colored dirt suspended in seed oil over repurposed plant matter sealed in plastic. 
Literally, all I did was paint in a sketchbook. But I love this woman, and I love to paint, and I hope, with this painting at least, that is enough. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit subscribe and share it with your friends. Please comment below on what you liked or disliked. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm going to make weekly vlog style art videos like this where I discuss my thinking as well as technique. So there will be more content, more art, and more sharing. Thank you again. Stay tuned.